Hey. Good morning. Cheers. Welcome back. <laughs> well, what's up, everybody? We're here for another weekly recap. I'm Sharky. I'm Jess. And together we're Sharky's Paradise. This week we want to talk a little bit about some of the exciting stuff that happened both in the shop and out. For starters, we got a new puppy. <laughs> we named her Pepper. She is about 10 weeks old, full bred, miniature poodle, super cute, a lot of work. He it's loves her. Super love her. She's this big. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, anybody looking for a puppy, let us know. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Santi, also known as Inked by Bonty here at Sharky's Paradise. This week was a really great week. We had a few different things going on. I had a raven on a skull with a moon behind it for one of my returning clients, Miles. Miles, how are you feeling? He's been super cool. We've done a lot of different things with his tattoos, but we started incorporating a lot of red with it. This one was a lot of fun for me because it's really leaning towards the style that I want to work on with a lot of dotted shading and just like little pops of color in it. The last tattoo I did, it was a blessing and a curse. It was my cousin's 18th birthday. She's been begging me for a tattoo for two years. I told her she had to wait till she was 18, so she came in on her birthday, got her mom's handwriting on her thigh, and we were able to send her off with a brand new tattoo for her birthday. I have some fun stuff coming up this week in tattoos. We're doing a mystery tattoo where my friend is gonna be blindfolded and pick out different options for what her final design is gonna be, so tune in to see that next week. What's up, I'm Spencer. I'm an apprentice at Sharky's Paradise, tattoo artist in the making. On the up and up, this last few weeks I got to knock out some pretty f***ing dope pieces. Got to knock out an axe, a traditional Viking battle axe. Came out pretty sick, honestly. He had me change some of the runes on the handle, so I changed it to the runic translation for Oblivion. And it was a tribute to Mac Miller. Uh, that was a really fun piece for me to knock out. Let me do a lot of practice in my shading. Probably my best piece to date. <laughs> it's awesome. Another one I got to knock out was my motionless and white tribute tattoo. Nice little skeleton flipping the bird. But the font on that one, or at least the lettering, it says if you mean it, you'll make it, which is something I think can apply to everybody. If you have something that you really want to do, have something that you love, as long as you mean it, you'll make it. So I think that was just a pretty dope piece for me to knock out. Really spoke to me in a lot of ways. Yeah, another one that I got to knock out, I got to knock out three pieces on my friend Jorge. I got to knock out a demon from Jujutsu Kaisen. I can't remember his name off the top of my head to save my life. We can go back and edit that in as like a like stamp or something like that in the corner. Sure. <laughs> I also got to knock out the Majin M from Dragon Ball Z. That was an absolutely dope one. I, I've been wanting to knock one of those out for a while now. As you can tell, my client was kind of nerdy, but I like doing more nerdy stuff. I like doing references to pop culture. A lot of the stuff that made me me is what I really want to put back out in the world with my own spin on it and make it more unique, give it that kind of fresh burst of flavor. Yeah, root beer, I got you. We got a bleeder. We got someone, uh... Passing out. Saving lives, Just one root beer at a time. Uh, 
Yeah, how's it going? That didn't happen here, did it? Your, your knuckle oh, no, bust? That was okay. I, I Perfect. Yeah, try to drink that root beer down as much as you can. Awesome. Do you like root beer? Yeah, I do. It's a That's all right. The only question I have is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's see. Let's see a tattoo. We're killing it, though. We're killing it. Killing it. Good job. Awesome. All right. Drink that root beer. You'll be much better, real quick. So this week we had some personal stuff that kept us a little bit out of the shop. We have been working on this eons long landscaping project in our house. Finally got to the point where we were able to finish the majority of that this week. Not a shout out to any landscaper ever who has helped us on this project. Everybody else really bust our butts. So I spent a bunch of time this week checking in at the shop and um, you know, just walking through these guys. We got new tattooers, we got people going around and just being excited about life. Today, Today I'm going to be working on uh, a client, Rebecca Ferris. And I'm doing a sunflower marigold surrounding a heart-shaped jewel to cover up an old tattoo that she has. We're using black and gray mostly and coloring the flower. Uh, here's some of the stuff that she sent me. This is what she has. This is her existing tattoo. I put together this little design here. How does this tattoo make you feel? Tired, but good. Okay, so I want you to take a deep breath in. So, oh my God. How'd that make you feel? It feels great, but also hurt. Mm. All right, guys, this is Christian over at Sharky's Paradise. I'm one of the artists here. Been here for a little while now. Here's a couple of the tattoos that I did this week, starting out with the compass that I did, as well as an arrow going through it with some light color that goes behind. On a returning client, that I also used that same green on a couple of his other tattoos that you can see on my Instagram. Another one of the cool tattoos that I did this week was the strawberry. I gotta do that strawberry and actually do a redo on that tattoo. That tattoo was originally about like 22 years old and I'm only 23. So that's definitely great to do and everything like that. Doing everything like that. Doing everything like that. Try not to say everything like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Red and black and gray style and everything like that and kind of a west coast font a lot of negative space inside just to kind of keep that balance and everything like that and that was a first timer and that was a really fun piece just because i am a lettering specialist it's what i love doing grew up doing and everything like that which was all of the kids initials and everything like that as well as the parents and you want to at least attach your arms before you get to your hands and the rest of your body and everything like that said it again <laughs> <laughs> i like it try not to say everything like that and if you do, just keep going. All right. It's something I didn't actually understand what I was doing at the time and everything like that. With a lot of dot work and everything like that, it's definitely great to do and everything like that. With a couple of her friends and everything like that. A circuit and everything like that. Tattoos and everything like that. The same track and everything like that. And everything like that. And everything like that. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in and everything like that. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? So a snake half sleeve that I did, it was in a Japanese traditional style. It was really cool, we gotta do some of the black work and that was one of his first tattoos as well. So it was great to get that started for a client that lives all the way on the other side of the country, out in Florida. Shout out to my guy, Will. Hi, 
I'm Chelsea. I'm an apprentice at Sharky's Paradise. So last week, Santi, an artist in the tattoo shop, let me do a little eyeball with wings on her arm for some practice. Just learning, just working away over here. You like it? I'm so nervous. Would you be more comfortable if like my arm Cause it's Santi. Like... <laughs> Chelsea, you're fine. Okay. Do you see this? I tattoo myself, bro. <laughs> I promise you it's gonna be better than those. <laughs> I got to practice my fundamentals and little whip shading. It's nice to do something a little different than lettering, so that was fun. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a good idea. I usually start from the bottom and we'll play it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> So last week, my buddy Warren came in and his wife painted a B for their last name. And so he wanted me to clean it up and he had it put right on his rib cage. So that was some good fundamental practice. <laughs> While Santi's doing your hair. What's up guys? My name is Devin. I work at Sharky's Paradise. You can find me at slater.inks on Instagram. Uh, I don't know what tattoos I did this week. But I did a few. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Devin. I work at Sharky's Paradise. You can find me on Instagram at slater.inks. I did a handful of tattoos recently. This kid came in. I think he had, like, one other tattoo, so he was not a first-timer, unfortunately, but he was a fresh 18 years old, and he wanted a super sick piece to start filling up his forearm with, and so we did a double-headed snake, and I really like how that design turned out. It was super pretty, super, like, soft grays throughout it. The white really made it pop. It was a super fun tattoo to do, and the kid sat great. He did a really good job as well. Um, sometimes my coworkers and I will come in on our days off and get tattoos, even though that's not the plan. That's just how it goes. So Santi came in and we decided to give her a cool little, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call it a traditional piece, but like sort of. This guy crying with some red tears to go with the whole red and black theme she's got going on on her leg. That one was super fun. That was a pretty tattoo. I really like doing that one. Santi's cool too, I guess. Take a quick break. Okay, um, I also did an infinity sign on this lady's forearm for her uh, niece who had passed away. It was a super pretty tattoo. I was really glad that we got to like switch it up and make it for her so it's a little bit more of a unique design than something we pulled off the internet. So we got to switch it up, make it so that it really represented her niece and it flowed very pretty and the butterfly was super pretty. It was her niece's favorite colors. That was a really fun tattoo. I liked doing that one as well. Hey, how's it going? This is Eric over Sharks Paradise. Had some fairly fun pieces this week. Thanks for tuning back in to check them out. I'm doing this today on the forearm. Oh, sick, good. I like that line right there. Yeah, it's nice, huh? This week we got to do an astronaut skull falling back into space. It's the first stage of that tattoo. We're gonna go in the background, back it out with some nice black and gray swirl. He wanted a design on his ribs, but being first tattoo, ribs are a really hard spot to get. Not that I'm trying to change anybody's idea of what they wanna get and where they wanna get it, but moving it over to the forearm, it just oriented well and it leaves his ribs open to get future pieces. Then we also did a filigree skull on a coworker of mine, also working on part of her sleeve. Stay fucking still, Kevin. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were doing stuff. Fuck. So, 
In another note, we also like to spend some time tattooing each other in the shop. So we also make sure that those of us who are giving tattoos understand what it's like to get a tattoo. So I'm pretty positive that our man Hector really enjoyed his time in the chair getting tattooed. Spencer, Captain Lighthand is what we like to call him. I think he really enjoyed it. And I thought it was crazy. <laughs> Just shut up, well. you're making me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> You fuck off, bro. This is how I fucking do this shit, man. Actually falling down the hole? Sucks. <laughs> Every time the needle touches your skin, you're like, fuck. Dude, like I said, man, I hate this shit. Don't ever tattoo me, man. I'll bitch. And I got to do a piece on Hector, one of the other apprentices. I got to do Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. He's a comic book character from the same creator as Invader Zim. So that was really fun. There was a lot of leeway in that with like, you know, line variants and whatnot. And that was super fun to knock out. All right, give me a breather real quick. Holy oh, f let me get more comfortable. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna be available here in just a little bit because I'm setting up to tattoo right now. Spencer's working on that. Uh, bro, did you just drop my machine? Bro, what the is that? It was already there. Did you break down? No. Come with me. Uh, I need you guys to focus on these and make sure that you guys get these knocked out because I'm going to be unavailable. Yes, Keep you going, Spencer. <laughs> hey, my name is Hector and I'm an apprentice here at Sharky's Tattoo. Uh, fun tattoos I did this week was for a returning client of mine. He had gotten a spaceman behind his neck and uh, it was more of a tattoo of him wanting to express himself being a little bit more free with his individuality. I had also done a snake wrapping around a rose on one of my client's forearms. He really wanted a cool tattoo and he wanted an original design and that's what I gave him. So another thing I did at Sharky's Paradise is I had returning clients that are a couple and they came in to get matching tattoos but not the same designs. Uh, one had gotten a bull skull with a flower coming out of its eye with a feather hanging off of one of the horns. And then her boyfriend had gotten a geometrical astronaut falling down on his forearm. Both designs were definitely unique and fun doing. What's up, dude? You're looking extra stylish today. Go dance. You got like, like this. ninja moves? Yeah, yeah. Go like this. Go like Do this. you pop it and lock it? <laughs> oh, that's pretty damn. That's pretty good, dude. This week was a really fun week. We had a first timer. She got a Powerpuff Girl along with her friends. My co workers, Christian and Devin, did the other two. Wild. What is on? Wild. All right, so with those Powerpuff Girls tattoos that we all got to do this week, because we got them all in the chair at the same time, got them all started at the same time. I did a Powerpuff Girl. Three friends, three tattoos. Uh, we all did them at the same time. And all finished within about five minutes of each other, and they're all about the same size, so it shows that we're all fundamentally sound and kind of on the same track when it comes to line work, shading, and everything else that may come along. her first tattoo. She was pretty scared for it, but we knocked that out. Her friends were super excited to get their Powerpuff Girls with her. It was super fun. The energy was really good for the whole tattoo experience. Nice transition, bro. Nice transition. Woo!
Uh, last week's art project was uh, Hot Rods, and Spencer told me about this super interesting movie that he remembered called Hot Rod. Hey Sharky, you ever seen the movie Hot Rod? No. All right, you gotta check it out. It's pure gold. It's about this aspiring stuntman who has a like lawnmower engine strapped to a bicycle, and it's about him trying to raise money to save his stepdad whose heart is failing. But he just is the worst stuntman ever, and just completely eats shit at every turn. It's fantastic. So as you can see, super interesting story. Yeah, not much else need be said on that. Well, I need black for the teeth. Well, I'm just going to do this one first. That's going to be for you, you cannot look. Okay, I won't look. I chose a design for this week's project. Which is? Which is Hot Rods from the 90s. I mean, 50s up to 70s. So what is it that you're doing here? I'm doing a hot rod from the 60s. What is it? Do you know? I don't really know, but it's from the 60s. What, what hot rod are you working on this week? Oh, I don't know. Is that a 2022 poodle? It is, yep. <laughs> A miniature poodle. <laughs> Bird and he's carrying it on his arm. My man! It's like dangerous! Hey. Don't, 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 Woof. How'd that make you feel? <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. How does that make you feel? Good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Good. All right, guys, we have a first timer. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Ring the bell. Woo! Hi, have Thank a great, you. wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> The other two pieces I was working on this week were a heart being rooted into a guy's family tree. We put the kids' name swirling into the tree. Had a really good time with that one. It was an original design, so really had a good time working it up and being able to meet the customer's needs with that. Another piece that I did this week was uh, Mad Hatter's hat and a few other pieces adding on to a Tim Burton themed sleeve that I'm doing for a friend of mine. The Tim Burton sleeve has been an, actually a really fun adventure. Uh, I started that sleeve whenever I first started my apprenticeship here at Sharky's Paradise. And so I'm actually being able to see the sleeve progress in my skill set um, as I move on. And the fundamentals are getting a little bit stronger the more I learn from Sharky. So shout out SP, appreciate you. How was your day? I like that. <laughs> so a tattoo that I really enjoyed doing was the fishing hook on the side of the ribs. And that was just because I've been a fisherman for pretty much my whole life, something I grew up doing with my grandparents. And that was definitely something we could relate to because it was all an original design based off of Colorado mountains and a fly fishing lure that I actually learned how to tie with one of my uncles as a kid.
Last but not least, one of the most epic pieces that I've done so far was on this walk-in. Guy came in and he asked for a lotus on the side of his head. And we basically did the entire side of his head, like right behind the ear and all the way across with a lotus flower, which is actually one of my favorite flowers. And it represents growing from darkness. <laughs> Look at these badass foils you got, bro. Yeah. Love them. It's my wife. <laughs> Some of the great stuff that we have going on in the shop also is that we get to try a whole bunch of different products. My wife is the most tattooed individual in our shop for sure. So when it comes to aftercare, I lean on her expertise all the way. Tattooed lovers care, that's what we carry. We did have the you know, fortuitous opportunity to have Don from Tattooed Lovers Care pop by the shop today. I got a moment to talk to him. We're uh, always hanging out at the shop. You don't meet new people and we're having some old friends come by, some industry favorites right here, Tattoo Lovers Care. It's the owner and founder, Don. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more about his product. What's up guys, this is Don with Tattoo Lovers Care. We're the only all natural vegan CBD infused skincare line for the tattoo industry. Uh, we have multiple products that address the needs of the skin throughout the life of a tattoo. It starts with a soap, a salve, a cream, a sunscreen that's coming out soon, and a serum that's gonna be coming out later this year. Check us out at TattooLoversCare.com. Tattoo Lovers Care, really love this stuff. It's non-petroleum based. It's a nice salve that contains a lot of essential oils. It actually soaks into the skin. One of the biggest things that I really love about Tattoo Lovers Care is it actually fights dry skin. So anybody with psoriasis, eczema, I've used Aquaphor before in A&D, and that's more of a petroleum base. So that sits on the skin and doesn't soak in as much. So Tattoo Lovers Care, your skin actually soaks it in. There's Arnica oil in it, which brings down all the swelling and the redness, that's one of my favorites. Another great thing about it is it brightens up the skin. It has lots of vitamins in it, so it's really healthy for you. It smells really good. You can use it on your face, anywhere on your skin, and it soaks in. It's not oily. Do you have any other input on Tattoo Lover's Care? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> friend Shelby came in and did a geometric landscape. That tattoo was a little more challenging for me. I had to change a lot of aspects of it, but then it became an original design, so it ended up being great. Straight lines are difficult, and that's part of my fundamentals that I'm learning, so it was some good practice. I also did a couple of rabbits jumping into a hole. That one was a good one for my fundamental learning too. I worried about my shading technique, but in the end it turned out great. Two friends come in, they wanted to get tattoos together. One had gone alone right above her knee. It was just, you know, her representing how she's been going through life alone, but still going. And then her friend had gotten a tattoo of her mother's signature with her zodiac sign on the back of her back and everything. And uh, it was just a little, not memorial piece, but just a little loving piece to show to her mother that she cares about her a lot. I had a couple that pretty much dropped their whole life up in Florida, moved into an RV and has been traveling for a little bit and they came in to get a tattoo on her birthday. Uh, it was June 13th, so she got a lucky 13 on a four leaf clover on her foot. Uh, it was also done at the 13th hour, so I thought that was pretty neat. How's it going everybody? My name's Will. I'm the video guy here at Sharky's Paradise Tattoo. My video company is called 80A Visuals. You can find me at 80A.Visuals on Instagram. This week was a very entertaining week. All the tattoo artists were uh, up to their normal mischievous ways. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Little puppies hanging out. Adorable. Kids always in your face saying random things that you wouldn't expect. Super fun stuff. I moved to Lyons, Colorado. <laughs> At this exact address. <laughs> we seen a bear. We seen some elk. And it was a lot of, it has been <laughs> super fun. Um, Hell yeah. The Ying Yang Fish, this girl came in, I know her from one of my previous jobs. Um, I've given her a terrible tattoo in my living room, that was super fun. Sorry. 
<laughs> um, but she came in for a little bit better of a tattoo this time. She came in for a yin yang with some koi fish around it. It was a super pretty tattoo. I love how those the koi fish just make the best like yin yang tattoos. They sit very nicely together and it was very, very simplistic and pretty. Kind of minimalist design, but it, it ended up turning out nice. Oh yeah, I turned 21. That was a lot. <laughs> we did a ridiculous amount of things. We had a little pool party at my house. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot of that. I don't know, I feel like I spent the whole last two weeks celebrating my birthday. So there's been quite a lot of things that have happened, but now I'm an adult for real. So that's cool too. Shout out Devin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We made it to her epic pool party that she had, it was lots of fun. The entire Charky family was there and we make the party happen. Oh, you recording, babe? I fucking love you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm excited about next week. Got some fun stuff coming up and we're gonna have some designs ready to go. You can check out our artist portfolios. Sharkysparadise.com. Just stay tuned for next week. I got some really fun pieces coming up. Look forward to seeing you back. Uh, thank you, God bless, peace out. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Be sure to tune in next week. Be sure to participate in all of our weekly art challenges and like. And share. And subscribe. To all of our channels. Boom!